Hello everybody and welcome to the recording extravaganza. I have to go home, well I say home, go back to my parents for a few days, so I've got to record a bunch of Isaac today. So let's get into it and see what we can do. Uh, let's try again to unlock um, Tainted Blue Baby, shall we? Because we failed real hard at that last time. Uh, so let's give this another go and see if we can make something work. I hope we can. Um, we will try our very, very best. And yeah, I just want to try it. Basically, I know I'm not playing many modded characters at the minute. I know, obviously, I've got some of them disabled for the uh, lag situation. Basically, at the minute, I kind of want to get some of the vanilla unlocks done and then move back to modded at a time where it makes a little more sense. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean I'm not going to play any modded characters. I want to slide them in here and there. But I mean, I think what we'll do is we'll like... Play, uh, play these characters, get the tainted ones unlocked, play a bit of the tainted characters, then move back to doing more and more modded content. But, ooh, what an interesting um, interesting item to get as this character. Very, very nice. Chance for, um, oh god, I do not like this room. Chance to turn enemies into poop, which is real good, because poop gives us a fly, and it also has a chance to give us stuff because of Petrified Poop. So this is definitely a run where we'll be sticking with Petrified Poop for the duration of the run. Uh, but yeah, really good. I think, I need to check actually, I think this scales with luck. Um, scales to 25% at 13 luck. So it's, it's, it's pretty slow scaling. It starts at 3% and makes its way up. But still, 3% is already a decent chance. I mean... You've seen it already. We've returned quite a few enemies into poop, and it does work on bosses too. It doesn't turn them into poop, but it does um, it does create a poop, and it can create red poops and do some really interesting stuff there. Quickly going to check out our shop here, see if we've got anything good going on. Uh, I think I'll just buy the soul heart for now um, and keep on moving on. As for the question of the day today, what is something dumb that you've fallen for? Like, like a scam or a, a trick, or what's like something really dumb you've fallen for. For me, I um, I got a message on um, Reddit, like, it was a few months back now, and it was someone that, like, I wouldn't typically reply to, and I really don't even know to this day why I did reply. But anyways, I replied to this person, and they started talking about the dark web, and I was like, I'm not interested in this whatsoever. And for some reason, my dumbass brain, after they'd said this, they sent a link that was fairly unrelated, and I decided to click on it. God knows why, and got, like, a really sort of bad virus in my PC after that. Um, I had, it took kind of a while to sort out. And it was just, like, so unfathomably dumb. Unfortunate hit there. Like, it made no sense why I clicked on it whatsoever. And I'm still sort of dumbfounded by my stupidity to this day. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me, but hey her. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be interesting to know if any of you guys have fallen for anything similar. Or just in general, what, what you've kind of fallen for. Because I think everyone at some point in their life in their life has made one of those mistakes. Like, I'm a pretty cautious person online, and this, I, it still has just happened. And it was one of those things where it was like, just like a, a momentary lapse of judgment. I'm gonna leave that heart on the floor until, um, until a little later down the line here. But yeah, just a momentary lapse in judgment on, like, sort of forgetting about internet safety for a hot second and ballsing that up. Kind of is what it is. I don't really know if I want to, yeah, I'm gonna say make these guys super small yet, because... Fucking hell, they bounce around like crazy. Mental. Be really, really careful around these guys. Makes this boss like a lot more menacing than it used to be. I do, I do like the change, to be honest. I think of the reworked first, this is kind of an interesting one. It's a really light change that makes a, quite a big impact. You've just got to be very, very cautious, especially once you initially split them. But there you go. We'll, we'll get him done. Hoping I don't lose too much HP here. And yeah, that, that heart that we got that's laying back in that other room. Definitely want to save that. Baby Bender. I'm a little annoyed that it's appeared on top of there. I, I'm actually going to use a bomb to grab this safely. Because, oh, no. I'm stupid. I just, I was like, yeah, I'll, gra I'll, I'll grab Baby Bender. I forgot we start with Petrified Poop. I even mentioned it just earlier in this episode. My bad. My bad. Absolutely no reason to take Baby Bender right now. Pill. I shall take. Item room. Picking up... Okay, there's Petrified Poop again. Picking up a Soul Heart will... With an empty Red Heart will convert it. Uh, plus two health up. Slight shot speed and range down for a he for two HP, essentially, that we'd be getting here. Uh, how much of a range down is it? It's actually not that bad. We can take that. 
We can take that. That gave us 2 HP. I think that was reasonably worthwhile. It's not the best, obviously. It would be better if, um, if we're using it on a character that could take advantage, but hey her, it's fine. Hey her, it's fine. Still got that weird glitch with the red hearts where it's not actually giving us the, um, not actually giving us the, the dips that we so, so rightly deserve. Happened to, it happened the same time, uh, the same thing happened last episode. Ugh, I cannot speak. Oh god. Taking dumb damage. These green flies really mess me up. Also, these these enemies are really, really annoying. It's okay though, keeping close to a wall makes them a lot easier. Aha! You blew up the poop for me. Even though it would have taken just one shot for me to blow it up, but still. Uh boom boom boom. Good, good. Money is looking good. Money's looking really good. Shop is of value to us now. Quickly go back to our shop because we didn't check it, did we? Dun. Dun. Good. Good. Ooh, alabaster box. Nah, because... I mean... I don't know. It'd get rid of the poop. I'm, I'm just gonna take this for now. Alabaster box is kind of interesting because could get a good amount of soul hearts here, but I think it's a little bit of a of an unnecessary risk. Even though I do like the item quite a lot. Of course, we get another room with these enemies that I just talked about. How much I do not like fighting. They're a real pain, especially champion versions of them that have a lot of HP. Ooh, that was close. Especially when they sit over the top of rocks. There you go, we got him. Just going through these extra rooms here to get things like keys and stuff. These extra consumables are pretty valuable to us. What? Another enemy that I find kind of quite tough. Just summons so many of these little helper poops. And the actual enemy that spawns himself has quite a lot of HP, so... It can be kind of a trial to get through it all, but I actually think that was pretty worthwhile in the end. We've got good consumables going into the next floor. Gotta to remember to come back for that um, heart that's back over there. If I forget that, I will never forgive myself. Basically, if we carry that... Uh, that heart always sits at the end of our health bar. So basically, if we take damage, it's always the thing that goes first. Um, but what it does is every floor that we keep it, we gain a locust um, like the ones that you get from using Abyss. It's a really, really strong heart. Uh, the longer you can keep it alive, obviously, the better. I doubt we'll keep it alive longer than a floor, but even just getting one of them is pretty valuable, so do not mind that. This guy's taking a bit of a while to kill, um, just because we don't have great damage or stats right now, but I think we're fine. As long as he doesn't spawn too many more dips. Yeah, we got him. And we get ourselves Mara, which is fine. Check in here. I actually think both of these are worthwhile for us here. Especially uh, ceremonial robes, which really gives us HP and damage. Lovely. Right. Quickly scoot an Annie back over to this heart, which is... It, it is actually represented on the map, just in a slightly weird way. It's just like an outline of a heart. Make sure we don't step on the spikes. Grab this. So now, upon entering the next floor, we'll gain a red locust that we can- Locust? Lo I said locust. Locust. T and then the longer we can keep it alive, the more we get. So we'll try our best to do just that. Sort of see how that goes. Gotta remember to drop a trinket as well at some point here. There were some trinkets on that last floor that I probably should have uh, taken advantage of. But yeah, you can see we've got a red one here. It's a bleeding one as well. I think it gives you a random one, maybe? Okay, so there's Callus. Um... We'll remember that's there and try and put that in an item room for the end of the floor. Good, I'm just trying my best to just stay alive and not lose our uh, advantage here. Slightly annoying room here. Um, we've not seen many poops be produced recently. We've been missing with a lot of those. Good. Careful of these extra flies. Oh, one of you managed to escape, I see. I was wondering why this room wasn't over yet. 
nice. Yeah, good money, good money. Keep it moving. Carrots. I don't particularly remember how the carrots work. Just roll, don't they? Plus. Good money here. Let's check out the shop. Good keys as well. This isn't a particularly good right now, but um, other ghost like familiars have double HP and deal double damage from tears. Uh, plus one black heart as well. So it's it's like good in terms of HP and we get a few wisps and stuff, so that's nice. But in terms of like, we don't have a way of generating wisps. It's not that amazing. It might give more health to our dips though, potentially. I don't I don't know about that for sure, but there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance it does. Right, whereabouts is that item room at? We're not finding our item room yet. Careful of that. It's fine. You're annoying, but you're fine. But yeah, these wisps will stay around for a good while because they've got that extra HP now. Killing stuff really, really fast right now. Let's just go take on the boss straight away. Unfortunately, it's a boss that I find particularly difficult just because I don't remember the patterns. Apparently, these these burnies can no longer spawn as brimstone burnies, which is really nice. Because they used to be able to spawn as like brimstone bomb burnies, and oh my god, they're really difficult. Like this, 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 for example. Yeah, we're getting hit here. I gotta say, <laughs> I have no idea what that attack is. Oh, we, we don't lose the heart instantly though. We have to take a full uh, heart of damage to lose it. That's rather nice, at least. Okay, so we still got it intact right now, but I still want to find my item room. Um. I think right now I'll grab Callus so that we can put it in the item room on the way back. Callus. Callus is actually a really good trinket, but um, at the minute Petrified Poop just has so much value for us. Be unnecessary, but you can see how much damage these uh, wisps are doing, right? It's kind of crazy. Here we go. Good to have them about. Pop in here. We get the um the the D20, which I'm I'm honestly not gonna take. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. I'm gonna refrain. Broken disc. Tainted disc. Right. We did all that. I didn't drop the trinket, you fool. This is... K uh, caves one, catacombs one, which is... Catacombs is caves, right? I can't remember. Oh, god damn. I got hit immediately upon entering this room and I pissed in the doorway. Whoops. There's pissing in the doorway. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's uh, It, it stops you from shooting tears for a brief moment. I don't... Dude, what the fuck was I... What was I meant to do about that? Come on now. Taking some really bad damage here. I don't really know how I was meant to avoid that. Okay, I seemingly do a random bodily function upon entering rooms. It's not just piss. Well, this was a waste of time, sadly. Fish head as well there. Back we go. Let's leave this hellhole. Yeah, all our free trials are going to run out. Whatever. Right. To the next floor. Let's go. Still pretty happy with how this run is going. Some good stuff. Honestly, I just, I'm, I'm going to be sad when my wisps go. Because they're clearly providing me quite a bit of extra damage right now. Uh, ooh, model rocket I like. It's kind of an interesting one. Can be a little bit janky, but overall a fun item. Don't know how it's going to work with our poop tears, but we'll see. You're decided it doesn't apply it to like our wisps and stuff, but kind of get why. But I wish it did. There you go. It does turn things into poop just normal. Good. Go in. 
take care of you before you spawned anything. That's what I like to see. Don't- Oh, you killed one of my wisps. How dare you? Yeah, I just want a way to, to generate wisps now. At a more regular interval, because plus yet, plus, plus wisp generation. Pretty beautiful. Spindle is pretty decent here. We have Spirit Sword for a brief moment, apparently. There is some shenanigans going down right now. There is some shenanigans going down right now. The rather interesting setup we got going on with these discs. Okay, kind of want to want it to stop though, because I keep hurting myself. Dude. What keeps bombing me? I've got a tainted item that keeps bombing me. Like, oh, I think I have the um, the one where enemies explode when they die. Yeah, by, by the looks of it, I have the one where enemies explode. Dude, lots of soul hearts here. I'm liking that. Yeah, I can't get anywhere near enemies. It does a full heart of damage as well. I want this to be over, please. I guess I'll try and take advantage of the boss during this. Good. Nice. Lump of coal is lovely here. Yeah, I lost quite a lot of HP to that, but hey her. Oh, what the hell? Did I get a transformation then? What, what, what was that? Also, I like this with all the rockets around us. Yeah, what the hell was that? Was that a transformation I got there? I really do. Oh, wait. I have a new... What? What? I'm so confused. My poop plus lump of coal made it into a bl something that spawns black poops now. Which isn't ideal, honestly, because now they don't drop loot. The uh, black poops are useful, of course. This is interesting. Oh, God. These things with a lump of coal. The rockets just keep getting bigger. Okay, let's uh, shimmy our way out of this floor, shall we? Uh, we've already done boss rush, actually. Let's let's quickly go and check these rooms over here. This is um, technically the cave's floor. So, dude, the soul hearts from poops is irregular and lovely. Free trial over. But yeah, now every room we can spawn a black poop. That's kind of crazy. No longer drops loot, but yeah. Is, is that like just a weird synergy with Lump of Coal now? I, it seemed to happen after I picked up Lump of Coal at least. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. My guy, how dare you? Your herming shot. How dare you with your herming shot? Golden Troll Bomb. So yeah, the poop actually has some offensive capabilities now. I, I, I'd i love to know what um, player alongside a poison fire, I'd love to know what mod makes that happen. Because I, I have very, very little idea. It's it's interesting. I like it. It's the first time I've ever seen it though. And yeah, I'm a little, little confused is all. A little confused. Unfortunately, I've been taking some buku damage here and... Um, my uh, my HP is yet again not really looking too hot compared to what it was at the start of the floor. Justice, you could help me. I mean, I'm getting dips now as well, at least, which is good. I do like the dips. Right, keep moving on. So yeah, definitely want to be using that every room because as you just saw, does. AoE damage to the whole room confuses them for a short amount of time as well. It's pretty top tier, really. The poison fast useful, dude. As if, as if that fucking troll bomb made its way over to me then. But yeah, we have lost a bit of DPS from losing our dips, which is slightly sad. 
Don't know why I used the black poop there. Is it just me or can, can black poops normally drop black hearts or is that with a specific trinket? I think that's with a specific trinket, isn't it? So we'll have to keep our... I need to put, remember to use it in combat, not out of combat. Um, Let's keep an eye out for that, but unlikely we'll get it because it's like a very, very specific trinket. I, I doubt we're going to get lucky enough to get that, but hey, -ho, you never know. You never know. Maybe in the presence of more black poops has, gives it a larger chance of spawning or something. Yes, yeah, so we can use the poison as well to get basically a free kill if we plop it down next to an enemy. I like that. Like, that, that room was just over straight away. Oh, dude. Okay, need to be way more careful. My health is uh, not great. Ooh, permanent ghost that shoots familiars. Okay, so this said... This is confusing to me. So the flushette said it bu buffs any ghost base familiar, but this is a modded thing. So do you reckon it still works? Either way, petrified poop isn't that good for us anymore, apart from, like, idle poops. I don't know, petrified poop does work on poops that we get from killing enemies. Maybe, maybe I'll keep it, because we've been getting a lot of soul hearts. I feel like it's probably more valuable. Right. Punching bag. Not bad. Soul heart in here, please. Compost is pretty good. No soul heart, though. Lover's cheese. My lover. Get some dips, at least, from the lover's card there. Let's keep this moving along. Moving and said grooving. Dude, that was such a bad hit. I uh, I pop I put the poop down and then accidentally put it behind me and so I couldn't escape and therefore I took damage. <sighs> Taking some bad damage at the moment we are. Damage we have been taking is not not good. Don't like this situation, but we should be okay. Nice. Drop a bomb down here, try and get a black heart or a card that gives us HP. You never know. But yeah, some weak enemies, the black poop is just going to kill straight away, which is real nice. The rest of them, it's just going to nicely soften up for us. The only thing about it is, like, the actual time it takes to, like, pop the poop. We actually have to think about that and, like, obviously the positioning of the poop as well. All has to be considered. Good A, there's a soul heart drop. That is fantastic. We're not actually looking for anything specific here. Let's just um, go. We're pretty late for boss rush, unfortunately. We do get a, a disc whenever we fight a boss. I forgot about that. Spindle is a boss item. Uh, shop item, sorry. It's really good. I was actually surprised it's in the shop pool. Oh, balls. I thought I was out of the way of that. It's okay. We'll be fine. We did indeed get some max HP there. Lovely. And... Oh, da, da, da. Void bombs? Yes, I'll take void bombs. It's risky, but it's a very, very strong item. And we are attempting to do the beast today. Therefore, um, I think going for something that makes bombs even better is going to be really good. Because we use a lot of bombs against the beast. The confusion itself is is doing a real good job of helping out, to be honest. Fortunately, having to fight a boss here, not a fan of it. Got to look out for our fool, uh, not fool's gold, our um, marked rock. Ooh, we got one of these hearts. These hearts are really good. They're like self-regenerating, kind of. Well, having these guys stunned is very nice. Yeah, we got to look for our X Max to spot skull. Look, Penny's rather nice for uh, more poops. Left hand, no, thank you. Snake, I love Snake. I'm actually intrigued to see. Yeah, uh, Snake plus uh, lump of coal plus rockets is actually pretty funny. 
I, a snake as an item is, is just an incredible idea. I love it. Uh, I'm also going to quickly um, drop another trinket in here. Just in case. Then we've got an extra one. But yeah, um, so now we have a, a train every room of, uh, of rockets that will seek out enemies and grow in size over the course of the room via lump of coal. So pretty interesting. We actually have some self-sufficient rockets, which I think is pretty funny. Um, like auto-targeting off on their own voyage. Like that. Look at all those tiny enemies that we just insta-killed there. That was awesome. Oh, look at that. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Right. Hopefully the shop can provide here. We've got quite a lot of money. I'd like to take advantage here. We can. Should have waited on my black poop until all the spiders were out. Oh, well. It is fine. It will have to be fine. Dude, I think pretty much Snake is going to be killing at least one enemy every room for us, if not more. And I am appreciative of that. And Snake does regenerate over time as well, so you can get multiple snakes in a room, so it's still going to be helpful for the beast fight. It's not like it's one and done. Psy Hunter friendly is pretty nice here. He does some good damage and has reasonable health. Still looking for our shop here, so we can't go to the boss just yet. Don't like how these guys are stuck, but look, Snake comes in. Does us good. I haven't really been looking for secret rooms all that much on this episode. Kind of happens sometimes, I guess. PhD is decent enough. Especially when it gives us a health up straight away. I am potentially seeing the idea of a secret room here, though. So let's just check it out. There you go. Wasn't all that lucrative, but hey her. Right, boss time. Oh, we need our... F no, no, no. It's not boss time. That was close. We still need our X marks the spot skull, which I tend to always forget about. Can't be in large rooms, so it's not going to be any of those. I've definitely already seen it and just walked past it. I, I'm almost certain of it. My foolish brain. There it is. Good, good. I like the way the snake just sometimes pops in as its little trail of rockets from off screen. Right, let's go. We got a full card ready. We've also got a, a wisp floating around us. A let me get a wisp from our. Uh... What the hell? How do we get that? I, th I think what happened there is we used a chaos disc, which gave us pentacles, which which we had while we picked up the void bombs, which gave us a void bomb uh, lemmigetum wisp, which is all a bit complicated, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. That's the only, only thing that could make sense to me. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Snake's going crazy, and then it insta-kills. Lovely. Wow, okay. Grab that. Quickly come in here. Uh, I don't think either of those really do anything to help us, unfortunately. Both are very good, but I I can't I can't imagine us getting too much use out of death's list at this point in the game. Um especially for the for and it's only one soul heart, but yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to either of those. I don't think it's gonna be super useful for us. And we'll go down half soul heart there. And yeah, got a room to go to our item rooms on the way back up and get our uh, cracked key. Top hat guy is there. I, I don't like the fact that these crows could just like chill on top of stuff for ages. Kind of bloody annoying actually. And the so sometimes they like land in a perfectly timely manner. Other times they're like nah, 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 boy. We are gonna chill here for an extremely long amount of time. Depends on how they're feeling on the day, I guess. Excuse me, you're, you're meant to be concussed. 
Could you not be firing at me while you're concussed? Oh, dude, that whippy. He got the whippy. Just gotta remember to keep an eye out for when we kill enemies. We get the, um... These hearts. They're very hard to grab with low speed, though. As you just saw. We kinda need to... We kinda need to get lucky in the way that it decides to generate and sort of where it ends up throwing it. Uh... Oh my god, not quite sure about this room. Snake, can you come back to me, please? D what? The lightning speed throw that he just pushed upon me there. So our regenerating heart is now gone permanently, which is a little upsetting. Snake, I need you to carry me. Go, Snake, go! Stop teleporting. Luckily, Punching Bag is kind of taking off all the heat from us, which is rather nice. One of these owl buddies here. Don't particularly know what to think of this. Either way, I think I'm scared. Oh, fuck me! Why is the bloody red cubes there? Fuck you. Oh, I did it again! <laughs> what? Um, I'm getting real pissed off right now. Can the game just leave me alone for a hot minute? What the hell was all that? One of one of my most hated, like, enemy slash additions in Repentance. Those goddamn red blocks. There's all sorts of trap rooms in, with them and, like, puzzle rooms. No. Just disable them. Go away with them. No one likes them. <laughs> Ugh. That's a lot of hits to take. For some BS. And now oh, we got to deal with these guys flying around like fucking idiots. Just land! I don't have time for your bullshit. <laughs> go, Snake, go. We've had this be really bad for us in the past. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and not take that. I'm gonna use a bomb here, fuck this. Happy ass walking around using the teleporters. Oh hello. Double soul hearts, you say. I don't know why they're slightly red, by the way. They've got like a, like a red glow to them. I'm not entirely sure why that is. We do also have a shop that we could utilize on this floor, so we should maybe try and find that. Oh, well, well, well. What hit me then? I'm confused. Was it one of the little falling bits of ash? I'm unsure. Where the hell's our shop at? Where the heck our shop at? I am confused. There it is. Really not what we're looking for here, but I'll take a Psy Hunter. I might as well take the pill as well. It could be good. No, it's something wrong. Ugh. Okay, that was all a big old waste of time. Right. Backeth we go. This is just pheromones, lovely. PhD really didn't do us too much work this time around. Right, on to the actual ascent we go. We shall tryeth our best. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Holy I have literally no idea what I've done here, but it's it's intense. Ooh, Intruder's definitely the better one of the two here, I think. Slightly more guaranteed value for us. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff going on with the items I've got from these tainted treasures right now. Rather intriguing effects, so to say. I like it. Probably should have saved this for, uh, what's it called? Should have saved it for the actual boss. I don't seem to be able to fire. Which is not great. Or at least my fire rate is- okay, my fire rate is just extremely slow. As you can see, it's 0 0.11. Which is, I think, the lowest I've ever seen. 
I'm not quite sure why it's quite so low. There's another enemy in here. Could you, could you not, sir? <clears throat> Look at the lump of coal ones. They're so huge. I mean, this is beautiful, but it's quite tedious right now. Free trial has expired. All that craziness has gone away. Right, I think this is the item room we want to be checking, right? No? Maybe it's the next one. It says plus two range and it gives you plus one. How dare it lie to me this way. Oh my god, no. This is like, this This guy's like guaranteed damage for me. <laughs> he has so much health. Okay, luckily I didn't actually get hit this time around, but normally that guy messes me up. Right, item room on this floor? It's either this floor or the next floor, I can't remember. Okay, I got some godhead. Ooh, ten dreams of poop, like that. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. My snake seems to be able to send things to poop too, which I like. Varicose veins. Happens on occasion when you get hit. Oh, that happens every time you get hit, okay. Not this floor, so it's definitely got to be the next floor then. Let's get this, this, these guys put us in negative charge. I mean, make sure we don't get hit by them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool idea for an enemy. Right, next floor. Half soul heart there. I'm not quite sure where that came from, but I'll accept the offer. Also grab bombs. We want as many bombs as we can for the boss fight, because... I think these void bombs are actually going to do a very good job at killing the beast. I think we do need more damage against the beast, to be honest, because a lot of our damage on room clearing is actually coming from Snake at the start of rooms, and obviously we're not going to have Snake all the time, so not something we can particularly rely on. If we had our wisps still, goddamn, they'd be carrying us, but sadly, they have taken a leave of absence. Very upsetting. Oh, we can't even bomb through this room. This is a room I'd normally bomb through pretty much straight away. It's got these annoying ass uh, rot worm enemies, which are a pain in the ass. I unfortunately got hit there as well. This is a really, really frustrating room. But there it is. Good, good. I wasn't too big of an idiot. I got it in, in the end. Not particularly enthused about the current HP that I'm riding this at, but. Oh. It's definitely worse when you get hit twice in a room. Come on now. With the grimaces, really? With the grimaces, really? Okay, so not. I'd say I'd say I've got like a twenty percent chance of this actually beating the beast at this point. I'd say, with the health I'm on now. So I've got two flaws to get through. So we've got annoying enemies here. We could just turn them into poop, so I'm... Yeah, they go like that. So I'm kind of playing them out, not worrying about it too much, because there's a pretty good chance that we turn them into poop because they've got such high HP where they're getting hit so much. Baleful Heart there. I like a Baleful Heart. Thank you. Okay, quick clear on that floor. Not too many problems. We do get the uh, the sleepy time in the bed. Oh, turning that guy into a poop is awesome. We do get the sleepy time in the bed for three extra soul hearts when we get there, so that's something worth remembering. Oops, spiders, 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 spiders. Good. Oh, 
fat boy here. Don't particularly like him. Get some bombs down on him. You see the, the damage that bomb did? It's just crazy. Oh no, there was creep on the floor that I didn't see. Bugger. Buggering hell. Dude. Rockets? Why, why would you do that? <laughs> Stop pushing it. Fuck. Oh, small rockets isn't actually what I wanted here, but I'll accept. Really looking for HP more than anything, but... I guess damage is something too. Right, so we're only going to have five hearts to fight this guy. At least we're unlocking uh, Tainted Blue Baby regardless. At least we're unlocking Tainted Blue Baby regardless. That is something. I think next episode I'm going to play as Tainted Lost again. I'm really feeling a Tainted Lost run. Considering we don't really have a great streak going on right now either. I feel it's a timely time to do it. Crack this open. Grab this guy, we get a soiled heart. That's another thing as well, we're getting all the extra heart types unlocked, which I very much like. Um, we'll see what item we end up getting here. Red key? Oh, really, boy? Really? Red key doesn't really do anything for us here, sadly. Right, we'll see how this goes. I'm not thinking it's going to go too well, to be honest. What? He just fucking walked into me right as I started the goddamn room. Don't use too many bombs on this phase, because this phase should be the easier one. Ah, oh, got hit again. We do get some health if we get past this all as well. Come back to me, Snake. I need you. There you are. Oh, no! I contact damaged. Oh, you really? You've got to be kidding me with this. Doing this, a doing this attack straight away, as soon as we start the fight, should be illegal. Also, not having a head right now is really fucking confusing my positioning. I'm really sort of concerned where I am. Also, he keeps going for my fucking buddy. Get away from him. Dude, you can't do it again? Fuck that. And look, he, just, he keeps going for my, my buddy. This is really confusing me. Maybe that means I can stay down here, I guess, but... Uh, uh, no! He's like, hmm, punching bag. Hmm, I'm gonna go for punching bag for every one but one of these attacks. Fuck that attack. Fuck that boss. No thank you. Put you in the bin. Go away. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.